I'm Ivor, a spider. I've six eyes and eight legs. I'm so pleased to see you. Hello? I'll tell you a tale of these tiny wee eggs out of which ladybirds grow. They're called teeny and weeny. They're wanting to eat. The caterpillar gives them a fright. They'll get trampled to bits by those big clumsy feet. Teeny is squashed, I think. No, he's all right. You see those aphids on leaves they browse. When ants stroke their backs, they give juice. Ants herd aphids as humans herd cows and protect them just for their use. This teeny, I like aphids as well. It's my favorite. Yes, that's what I said. The ants gonna get us, Weenie says with a yell. So we'll make do with be beetle eggs instead. The ant will attack. If he sees what they've done, he likes the beetle eggs too. So wake up the pair of you, then you must run. I hope they'll both make it, don't you? Since I last saw you, four weeks have gone by. Teeny and Weenie have grown. Why are they smiling? What is it they spy? Aphids! And all on their own. Poor Weenie feels funny deep in his tummy as he takes off his coat that's too tight. He sleeps for a week, dreaming of honey. Perhaps when he wakes, he'll feel right. He's a ladybird, that's what he's called. When his wings are quite dry, a fly. If he tried to fly now, I'm afraid he would fall and almost certainly die. How do you do? And he calls to the other. Hmm. Are all these aphids for me? Um. Are you. Um. Is he? He must be my brother. Would you care to join me for tea? my tail over, I've no more to say, except that uh, the ladybirds prospered for three years and a day. I thought I'd drop round. 
Yes, it's me, not my sister or brother. See those bees flying back to a hole in the ground? It's the nest of the queen bee, their mother. Two little bees have hatched, each in a shell, which is properly called a cocoon. She's helping them out, they're not feeling too well, says the queen bee. You'll feel better soon. My name is Pat, says one little bee. Says the other one, my name is Pam. I suppose you must be a relation to me. I'm your sister. Yes, that's who I am. What's that pink thing, says Pam. It isn't a bee. Pat replies that it looks very funny. It's a larva, says Mum, just like you used to be. It's not grown yet, so I'm feeding it honey. Give me a sip, Mum. Yes, please, Mum, me too. Very well then, but on one condition. There's work to be done now. Here's what you do. Pat, please pay attention. Pam, listen. You must fill up these pots right up to their tops with the honey you get from the flowers. Oh, that's not fair, grumbles Pam. There'll be no time to stop for a rest. We'll be working for hours. They brush past the stems and the bright colored petals. The pollen drifts down through the air. Like a cloud it floats down, and on each bee it settles and collects in their shiny black hair. Besides all the pollen, they collect up with care to make honey, they need nectar as well. Hey Pam, come in here, there's nectar to spare, says Pat with a loud muffled yell. did give me a fright. The pollen's dropped off. Oh, how silly. Let's find a safe resting place. Yes, I'm all right. Here's a rock, calls Pat. You have the lily. The pollen she's found's all been washed away, but she's safe in the bell of a flower. She can't fly till she's dry. For a while, she must stay. With wet wings, she just hasn't the power. Sting! That's me, in the entrance. I see them fly by. We've nectar, shouts Pam, but that's all! My pollen got washed off, says Pat with a sigh, and hers all came off in a fall. Fill up the pots with the nectar they've found, but without pollen, the mixture's not right. Then a sister bee lands with a loud buzzing sound after a long honey gathering flight. Share mine, says the bee. Take half I own. We'll share yours tomorrow, says Pam. Oh, that's great. Bees aren't like spiders who live on their own. They're not like us. They cooperate 